All right, here we are at the Sissel Collection again and looking at a really fine and extremely rare 58 Nomad wagon. Uh, it's got a 409 underneath the hood, 700R4, front disc brakes, stainless steel uh, Flowmaster back exhaust. Um, just a really, really nice little done car. It's been finished about 915 miles and just in the past year or so. Um, he purchased it from a gentleman that was a longtime Outriders member, lifetime member, uh, uh, affiliated with Super Bell Axles. Anyway, bottom line is that gentleman uh, was had had finished a lot of it, not not mechanically, but cosmetically. And and uh, the wife said it was going to be too pretty to drive, and it was uh, covered up and put in the garage. And then uh, Mr. Sissel here purchased it, and then uh, went through bringing it back to life. Uh, very prominent shop here nationwide and Lake Havasu uh, put it back together went through all the mechanicals on it it's a beautiful car uh, we'll have more you want to stick out throughout the video to Spuds Garage spudsgarage.com Spuds Garage YouTube and of course you'll probably see it on eBay with that said we're gonna walk around and show you the car it's really neat GM rally wheels on it. Nice little resto mod. Looks really stock. Uh, of course, those are front disc brakes on the front. Little added 409 emblem. Dual quad 409 under the hood. You should see that video next. We're going to have videos with door jams, you name it, we're going to cover it. What color is that called, Denny? Mediterranean blue. All the chrome and stainless is done on the car to perfection. Um, this is an original engine emblem, eng engine, original emblem on the nose here. So there's just a little bit of crazy, and you can't find it. Um, if you can, they don't look like the original. In a reproduction, anyway. Again, very straight. Jam to da jam, exceptional. We do have video covering every door jam on the car, so on and so forth. Back end with the tailgate down. And again, that's at the end of this video or throughout this video. little chilly here this morning in Lake Havasu. As it warms up, uh, uh, the cloth there tightens up. Plus, you got to remember, it's not been in there very long. Doors shut exactly like they're supposed to. You'll see me do the same thing in the rest of the other videos. but. If you walk around the car, all the windows windows work like they're supposed to. A little tongue tied this morning. It's early. Of course, this is 100% uh, live video. So if you want me to stop somewhere and go back, just tell me. Nah, I'm just kidding. But we do inspect each and every one of these in person in great detail. When we say we, it's me, chief cook and bottle washer. Stop right here, take you into the back end a little bit and around through other. All right, I've got all the doors open. We're going to kind of do a little bit of a interior walk around here. Just like the rest of the car, this car is very nice and it's extremely rare. A lot of time was spent obtaining 
all the correct stainless and they're they're not like any other sedan or anything like that all the trim are most of the trim is specific to this car the seat does fold down again the car's only got less than a thousand miles on it 900 and some since it was done there is a storage area here for the spare put this back down Boom. there you go Trying to give you an idea of the de level of detail with this video. We will do a separate video of the uh, basics of the interior and a fire up here, but driver's compartment area. We will uh, do that separately, uh, dash and so on and so forth. We're just jamming it right now. All the upholstery, everything's new in it. Upholstery so new it hasn't had a chance to stretch out all the way yet. Warms up. These little come out of there. Again, the uh, seat does fold down. There's all the bracketry. The back seat. Oh, just like it's supposed to. Okay, we'll look at the door jams here. Well, you will find still photos of almost everything we're doing on spudsgarage.com. You're currently on Spuds Garage YouTube. And we also have Spuds Garage eBay. These window garnishings are next to impossible to find. The owner had to do a few... Uh, find a few and all the window stainless has uh, been redone there chrome stainless the VIN numbers like it's supposed to be My eyes are that good this morning <clears throat> again we will have a separate video covering the driver's compartment. Boom. Like it's supposed to, we'll go around to the other side here. Since we're doing all the door jams and stuff. buying a classic car one of the key areas you want to look at are door jams a good look at the door jams will tell you about the level of the rest of the car The markings on the back windows are paint. We did not take them off to video or document this car. If you call anybody on the car, call us about the, uh, call us call Spuds Garage, and we'll take care of you. The owner uh, uh, owner's wife. Uh, this is her uh, occasional uh, realtor. Go out to car. She'll just send you back to us. That shut pretty easy. I probably shut it too hard. Boom. Denny, if you want, you can shut the back for me.
Very nice. Okay, now I'm back. Very, very, very high quality chrome on this car. <clears throat> If you have an interest in this car, you do want to call Spud's Garage. The owner's wife uses this as a uh, occasional uh, real estate promotional vehicle. Um, it, there is a phone number, but uh, you'll want to call us because you'll just get sent back to me. like the door shutting. Every window opens and rolls down up and down very nicely, very easily. Cool wagon. Alright, let's get in here. Took a lot of work to get these uh, to find the right uh, components with the steering wheel. Uh, this emblem, I'm told by the owner, is specific to the 58 Nomad wagon, and it took a couple hundred dollars in restoration and chrome to redo that steering wheel ring. Nine hundred and sixteen miles at the time of inspection, and that is the miles since restoration. Mostly around Lake Havasu here, it does has taken one road trip. This gentleman does intend to drive every one of his cars. Of course, it does have air conditioning. Those are the vents here. Still plenty of room in the glove box. It's the original glove box size. An interesting story about the radio. He, he said, hey... Anybody ask her wondering about the radio in that car, why it's so dated? Uh, actually, it was just brand new in the box. Uh, it was part of the earlier restoration or purchased for it. And uh, um, it was still brand new in the box, and the owner wanted to, the current restorer owner, wanted to tribute him by putting that radio back in there. Of course, if you want to put a different radio in it, that's absolutely not a problem. The indicator is put in for the uh, 700R4 overdrive, if you see that. Otherwise, she looks pretty stock inside. It's very beautiful. And we will have video of the headliner and stuff in another piece. You may have already seen it. Well, that said, I'm going to get out of the car here, and we'll turn it around and finish the rest of the photo shoot. Again, hang on to the end of the video. It might be a little bit long. Go to spudsgarage.com for tons of still photos. And uh, you'll see, find us on YouTube, Spuds Garage YouTube, Spuds Garage eBay. It's time for you right, to get we'll take in. a look under the hood here. It is a dual quad 409, um, 65 out of a truck. It's been completely gone through with a little bit of a cam, plenty of horsepower. Sleeper um, level of detail is with the rest of the car. You want to hang on because we do have complete undercarriage video on the car. It will be at the tail end of this video. Uh, battery disconnect, uh, red top gel battery. Those are actually, uh, it's an Edelbrock intake with those look like Carter AFBs to me, which Edelbrock now calls their carburetor. Uh, Mallory Unilite distributor, split long tube headers, 
receiver dryer right there for the air conditioning, condenser and cooling fan, condenser cooling fan. Look here, power steering. A lot of the parts are CAD plated, brackets and shims and washers on this car, which is kind of nice. The hinges have been CAD plated. Firewall right there. Let's see if we can get in there. I'll stall long enough for you to read that. We will have that as a still picture on spudsgarage.com too. Offy valve covers, fin valve covers, nice nostalgia feel to it. <clears throat> GM dual reservoir master cylinder with power brakes. Again, safety. Okay, hang on to the end of the video here. You'll see plenty more. Okay, we do a little running video here under the hood. He's still warming up the car. Dual quad 409 right there. He's gonna turn it around. Hold it. Probably get it out in the sunshine there. Give you a good idea of the color. Very pretty. We shoot it in the sun, you can't see how straight they are. That's the intention why we sometimes we shoot it in the shade. You want to see the reflections and the only way to Let's do take that. a look underneath here. Probably said this earlier in the video. But this car's only got about uh, less than a thousand miles, uh, road miles on it, 900 and some. It is a thorough and complete body off restoration. Nomad Wagon 58 Nomad. Everything's been gone through. Does have power steering, Denny? Yeah. Okay. There are disc brakes added on the front of the wagon. Obviously for safety reasons. That is a 700 R4. Split long tube headers. High torque mini starter. It's a B&M uh, 700 R4. For the muffler's back is custom uh, stainless steel exhaust. All new body bushings, obviously. Those are seat belt retainers right there. It's nice to see somebody do it right. <coughs> Those won't pull through the floor. It's 
factory suspension, obviously it's uh, a little bit lower than original. All new body bushings. Everything's been went through, including the rear end. Forgot to mention there's a 409 under the hood. You were looking at the bottom of a 409. Yep, sway bar, sway bars front and rear, right there. Those are Flowmaster mufflers. Take a look and move out here to the rockers. Try not to make you seasick. start. 